It started out as a simple hunk of clay, but as the days and weeks went by, the talented hands, eyes, concentration, and imagination of physician and sculptor Dr. John Tedeschi transformed it right before your eyes into a work of art. In this case, bringing Hippocrates to life, called by many the father of medicine. Exactly the way I imagined it is exactly the way it came out. I saw this when I started. I knew it was there, I just had to do it. And I was worried that I wasn't going to get it, but I, it was already there. I have to say that you know my, my friend in medical school, Mahesh Raju, we were both medical students, studied very hard in South India. When he asked me to do this, uh, I, re I could remember both of our faces and both of our struggles as we tried to get through the first MDBS. Uh, and it was very difficult, and it would have been wonderful to have an image that we could look up to to say that we would become physicians one day. This lifelike representation was crafted for a new campus building at Dalhousie University, Dalhousie Medicine, New Brunswick, Canada, and was unveiled by Drs. Mahesh Raju and Dr. Mohan Ipe during a grand opening celebration. <laughs> it's my great honor and pleasure to introduce to you Mr. Hippocrates, the father of modern medicine. And I'll get Dr. Mohan Ipe to uh, unveil the statue for us, and if people would like to gaze upon it, and then I'll explain to you what this all means. Okay, Mo, let's go for it, buddy. <laughs> this, this magnificent piece of art was uh, done by my good friend, Dr. John Tedeschi, who's a noted physician, a renowned sculptor, and a close friend of 35 years. We were medical students together. And he works out of New Jersey, and the work was done in the New York Metropolitan Museum of Art by the finest craftsmen in the world. Oh, wow. Wow. Unfortunately, John was not, he's not able to join us today, but he asked me to share with you his vision for the piece that has taken him about eight months to, to do. On the right side, if you look at it, you'll see a very compassionate, almost smiley face, uh, because when, you, uh, when you're in medical school uh, and you struggle to learn the complicated um, amount of medical terminology and knowledge base, you get very down on yourself and you try and you try and it's almost impossible to retain it, but the compassion that he has in his face, I wanted to portray to the students to say, have compassion with yourself. On the other side, you can see the tenseness. This is the side that shows wisdom. This says that you have to have a vow, you have to have a commitment, you have to have diligence to keep going. So it's, it's like um, tuning a guitar. If you tighten it too much, it's gonna snap. And this is the wisdom part. If you loosen it too much, that's the compassion part. It's, gonna, it's not gonna play. So you need to have the wisdom and the compassion, almost like a tune, and that's where it comes into the face. He had compassion and wisdom, and this was a face of contentment that made him feel that his life was completed. And this is what the artist wanted to achieve when he did this piece, and I think he succeeded in <coughs> great measure. So Hippocrates has been inspiring physicians for over 2,000 years, and the hope is that he will continue to inspire new generation physicians to come. I'm happy. I hope Mahesh is happy, and I hope the school is happy, and I hope the students uh, uh, have fun with it. <laughs>